Boy with the Arab Strap, uh, Ben and Sebastian. Coming next, educating Ricky. Excellent. You too, Electrical Storm. Steve. Am I mental, or have we been playing some great tunes We've today? We've been playing some great tunes. You're not mental. You're Onyx a genius. FM. <laughs> yeah. Our next FM, wonderful, when I'm Ricky Gervais, would be Steve Merchant and Carl Pilkington. Carl Pilkington in the chair now. The, um, oh, the talked about, the acclaimed, educating Ricky. Right, well, just in case anyone's new, doesn't normally listen, yeah. um, basically, I'm educating Ricky. Yeah. Uh, do a bit of research in a week, find stuff, news, history, Anything that's interesting. Um, three stories. I give them a nice little headline. You take your pick. Yeah. Between now and three, you're going to learn three things. Yeah? Yeah. So, um, <laughs> the headlines are, um, I'll be no buying one of them. <laughs> <laughs> give us that again. I'll be no buying one of them. Nice, okay. Yeah. Uh, Cream. we've also got, uh, Hippopotter News. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. And, uh, chicken, you believe it. <laughs> <laughs> chicken, you believe it. Well, well I'm going to go for Hippopotter News. Hippopotter News? Hippopotter yeah. News. Right, well, this one, it's, uh, I'm not going to take the credit here. I heard Christian talking about this on Breakfast, right, because it's a good, good, uh, good story that happened. Um, basically, I don't know if I told you about it last week when we were having our spaghetti, but, um, no, I think you did. Right, I know it? what it is. I know what this is. Okay, I've not heard this. <laughs> right, there's a little midget. Right, there's a circus. I'm loving it already. Circus going on somewhere. I think it was in America. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, is that present day or old times? I'm talking like in the last three weeks. Okay. Right. A uh, little midget. Uh, circus, really packed out show, people are loving it. Um, <laughs> Steve, you asked the same question I did, I know. <laughs> so, um, so there's a little, little midget jumping up and down on a trampoline. <laughs> That's not a circus, <laughs> Right. Take good money to see it. So everyone, everyone's clapping, and he's getting carried away. Because um, <laughs> he can't believe he's like, he can't believe they're loving it. I didn't know they'd like a little person on a trampoline, but they love me. But you know what it's like when uh, if there's a crowd of people sort of encouraging you to sort of go higher and stuff. Yeah. And I'm sure he knew he was he was getting out of hand, <laughs> but he was jumping and he was coming down. They're all going higher, and he's going really high in the air, right? So he's he's doing this. Crowd are clapping. There's a hippo, right, just sat next to the trampoline, getting ready to come on and do his act. Oh, right, I thought he was in the audience. <laughs> <laughs> There's a hippo getting ready to do his act, Steve. <laughs> yeah. So, so the, the, he's a ventriloquist. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean he's sitting by the trampoline waiting to do his act? Because he's... Why does he sit in the dressing room and they go, five minutes, <laughs> Mr. Moss, five minutes, Mr. Moss. So, anyway, right, so the hippo's there. Uh, <laughs> he's getting annoyed, is he, because this, because the midget's... He's going, I'm going to follow well, this. I'm yeah, going to, this is really in, annoying. Yeah. They're going to be, yeah. oh, yeah. no. So, <laughs> he's thinking, he's already done a trampoline. My pogo stick out. He's never going to work. <laughs> yeah, go on. So, there's a hippo waiting. Uh, this, this, see, it's a great story, and I just know he embellishes it. or it gets slightly wrong. Go on. So, so there's a midget jumping up and down. The hippo's yeah. getting annoyed. He the crowd are going the mad. The midget's mad. loving it. Can't believe his luck. Although, we think, you think, he probably knows is dicing with danger. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, next thing you know, they're all saying hi, hi, hi. He gives it one big, like, heavy sort of landing on the trampoline. Goes really high, but goes off at a funny angle. Oh, hypotenuse. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, and sort of flies out. <laughs> <laughs> hypotenuse! <laughs> sure. Flies off at a funny angle. Ooh, Hippo's there, swallows him whole. <laughs> Crowd are clapping, thinking that's why the hippo was waiting there. <laughs> Rubbish. <laughs> Rubbish. <laughs> It's not rubbish, though. And but no, maybe the, uh, there was an accident in a, uh, a circus with a midget and a hippo, eh? But at no point was this hippo waiting to go on going, come on. The midget flew off at a hypotenuse and landed in the hippo's mouth and was swallowed whole. <laughs> this, well, is, this is what you embellish it. That is great. And what's I that? have to say, though, Rick, when I heard midget trampoline hippot hippopotamus, I was thinking actually what to happen. Yeah. So... Yeah. Maybe. I mean, it is it. That, 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 you should never put those three together. <laughs> never. It's, it's a recipe for disaster. Everyone knows that. Midget trampoline hit Thomas. Are you mental? You're asking well, for trouble. Well, you, you know, when he told me it, he said, and the midget, he didn't, he didn't mention the hippopotamus, and he said, and the midget went, all right, and soon he fell off 
and the hippo at him. <laughs> and I said, sorry, what was the hippo doing there? He went, it's a circus. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard of a circus having a hippo. <laughs> What can they do? You can't drain them, can you? <laughs> what do you want to Aren't they, like, very deadly? They're yeah. huge, aren't you they? You can't have a hippo in a circus. Are you sure? You're not thinking of Zippo. <laughs> He's neither claimed. Yeah. <laughs> it, 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 no, 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 no. It, it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't some sort of where Zippo was eating a midget, and it's it's some sort of horrible sexual act. No, it was definitely. I heard it on breakfast, right? Um, oh, okay, sorry. No, it's definitely. Yeah, okay, it's right, definitely right okay, good. Uh, well, let's play a record then. So, um, I'd like to play a, a classic Springsteen. We're all fans of Springsteen. There. This might be his debut album. I'm not sure. Greetings, yeah. Raspberry Park. I think it is. Yeah. Um, New Jersey. Um, and this is growing up. It's great. It's classic. Yeah. It's very Springsteen and Growing Up off of uh, Asbury Park album. Mm. Uh, great. They make you feel good, Springsteen, oh, don't they? He's a joy. He's an absolute joy. Uh, Rockbusters. Well, this, is what, this, is what all, this is what they're this all, all reading and writing about. Absolutely. Um, before you get the clues, let me just remind you of the prizes you're playing for. We've got the Manic Street Preachers Greatest Hits on DVD. We've got the film Human Traffic on DVD. Uh, we've got the Best Air Guitar Album 2 uh, on CD. Uh, Groove Armadas, is this their current album? Yeah. I guess it's not selling very well. They're still trying to promote that. You can have that as well. If you are a fan of the Ford Fiesta TV ad, of the Vodafone TV adverts, you will love the... You will uh, love... You didn't <laughs> think you liked indie. Well, you do. <laughs> exactly. And that's got uh, Feeder and Travis and Daddy Drawn Boy and all sorts on there. Plus, my own copy, six ninety nine. it cost me, uh, The Pelican Brief, starring Julia Roberts and Denzel Washington. If you've not seen that, panned and scanned on VHS. <laughs> uh, so what right. are the clues? Do you what know what a pelican? Uh, I read the other day that mm -hmm. it's turning its head upside down to eat. Give us the clues. <laughs> so, Rockbusters... Well, let me just explain. <laughs> a, a bird, a bird has, has a gullet, and a sophocles and a gullet is all in one thing. It hasn't got peristalsis, which is the movement that we have that can make food... Uh, so a bird has to can only rely on gravity. Yeah. So it it has to have its head up and has to shake. It can't eat. Absolutely. You were going to say that, weren't you, Carl? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so Rockbusters. Um, you mentioned it earlier. One of last week's was it's a cryptic clue and then some initials. I was in Texas. I fell in a puddle on my knees. Knees got wet. Uh, w H. Wet knee Houston. Yeah. That's the sort of thing, thing we can do. Use of the word knee twice there in the cryptic clue <laughs> and in the final. And the word answer. wet, I think you're yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is wit. Yeah. So fine. Good. So, um, there's three of them. It's email only, ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. Sure. Load of stuff to win. Here they go. Right, the first one. I'm writing these down. Go on. Making it of them. Um, the fella has only got one badge left. <laughs> <laughs> the fella has only got one badge left. Yeah. What are the initials? That's just E. Just E. Oh, just E. Just E. The okay. fella has only got one badge left. This is either a solo artist or a band. Yeah. Um, second one. The unmarried lady is a friend I eat out with. Say that again. The unmarried lady is a friend I eat out with. The unmarried lady is a friend I eat out with. Yeah. What's M the initial? M D. M D. M D. And finally, I really, really, uh, I really, really love that woman. I love everything she does. That's M. Now, give, I think us that, give us that one again. I really, really love that woman. I love everything she does. And that's right. M. Okay. I know, I've got that one. Right. Okay. That's oh. great. It's great. That's lovely. So, uh... That's yeah, great. I think, I think the, the second and third one's quite easy. First one is a killer. Is it tricky? Yeah, it's a tricky one. So, uh, ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. And what, we pick a winner out at about quarter to two or something Quarter like to two, that? yeah, absolutely. No, quarter to three. What am I talking about? Quarter to three. Yeah. So, uh, so there you go. That's dynamite stuff. Well done, Carl. Excellent. More, uh, educating Ricky next. Yeah. So, the first one was... The fella's only got one badge left. I don't have no idea. The initial was E. Go on. Will I get out the answer now? Yeah, give me the answer, yeah. I think on. you should. That was his last sticker. <laughs> yeah? E Elastica. The band Elastica. I'm right, not it doesn't sure. work. No. Doesn't work. The word, the word sticker and the and the ba yeah. and a badge are not interchangeable. And it's not his last sticker. It's elastica. Yeah, but like his last sticker. So <laughs> someone's got it. Oh, um, so, so so say a different word and it works. <laughs> oh, so if the band is is elastica, then it works. <laughs> God, if only Justin would have named it different. If she'd have just gone, let's call it elastica, <laughs> then we'd have yeah. Second one. Um, what was the clue? The unmarried lady is a friend they eat out with. Go on. That's Miss Dynamite. Miss Dynamite? 
Doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, but it's been running for four weeks. We've done, we've done the obvious Doesn't ones, work. Mate. Doesn't nice. work. Miss Dinner, mate. Again, if she'd have called us out <laughs> Miss Dinner, mate, it would work. She didn't. <laughs> See, what, what's happening is pop stars are letting you down by naming <laughs> themselves incorrectly for your clues. Those don't work. They don't count. <laughs> and the last one, I me. really, really love that woman. I love everything she does. That yeah. was M. Yeah. That was Madonna. Yeah, Madonna. I'm, I'm going to give you that. That work. yeah. Right, um, that's the end of that feature, until you can get ones that work. Okay, so you won't hear any more of that, because it's rubbish. <laughs> Art should be there to tell a story, not just to have a splash of colour. We well, know. Suzanne wife, likes some art. Just like uh, it's a, Suzanne's not allowed to watch telly unless it's a favourite thing. Otherwise, she's got to talk to me about stuff. There's no art. There's no point. Just wallpaper. I'm just saying we've got three three windows we can look out of. Right. Right. Stop looking at the walls. Look out the window. <laughs> My man phoned and said that my Auntie Nora, ah, uh, classic Auntie Nora, wanted me to look on the internet to find out what the weather would be like in Spain at the end of November. I don't know where she gets her money from. Two months ago, she was asking me, Dad, how much it would be to get her back garden astroturfed because <laughs> she's sick and tired of the grass getting out of her. What does she want to do? Start a football team? <laughs> uh, what does she want to do? Back garden astroturf? She likes the sort of green look, but she doesn't like the headache that comes with it, so she's just looking into getting that false grass put in there. Brilliant. Don't know how much it is. But... Went round to Ricky's and had some chicken curry that Ricky's girlfriend Jane had made. Ricky and Jane were going on holiday for a few days and had arranged for Glyn to come in and make sure the cat was okay while they were away. I'm sick of that cat. I was surprised that they hadn't paid for the little shit to go away with them on first class. <laughs> Blimey, getting a bit vitriolic in the, uh, why diary. He, uh, why doesn't he like the fact that I've got a cat and I, I love the cat? Why, why, it's why... just everything in that house that you've got gets sort of special treatment and it's a cat. And it what do you mean you get me? special treatment? You, sometimes we put I, food down for it, and yeah. sometimes it gets uh, uh, on our lap and we stroke it. You don't what, just stroke it. We're you not sending it. it. You massage its back. You know, you stressed out. Well, no, it's, no, it's out. good. It's, no, no, I'm not saying you stressed out. At no point did I say you stressed out. You <laughs> said, "What the fuck are you doing for? Is it stressed out or something?" I, 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 I like uh, touching my cat. To be honest with you, I don't like Ricky's cat. Oh, it, I can't believe it! Because it, this. every time I go around there, it goes straight from the goonies. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like the lizard thing you've got. It's kind of, it just sat there. You have bought it a big box, right, to be in. Right, one, one is a salamander, right. so it's an amphibian. Yeah. It's not a box. It's a big vivarium. Yeah, but what I'm saying. And is as it for, uh, and, and and if you're going to criticise someone for just sitting there, uh, having a round head and doing nothing with its life, uh, people who live in glass houses, no, we've done this one. Do you know? Do you know what gets me though, right, Steve? When I was there, I was looking at it and I thought, is it dead? Right, so he's just sat there. Like, and the, it was thinking exactly the same <laughs> fucking it's thing. Sat there, not moving. Right, and then on the top of the box is like a box full of crickets and stuff. <laughs> That's it. It's, it's it's food, yeah. right? But they were more active than the thing that it was going to feed. <laughs> Get rid of the lizards. <laughs> keep them in there. More entertaining. <laughs> Don't understand it. A few months back, a girl who was having a kid showed me one of them scans of the kid that was in her. That's science gone mad, innit? I couldn't think of anything nice to say as it looked like a frog. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know why we've got to that point? <laughs> what? Why, why have we got to see something that, that young? Why? Because people can keep an eye on the progress of the baby in the womb. Yeah, but why are they printing it out and stuff? That's some, surely that's for a doctor to see. Well, that's just an added bonus for people who are interested in such things. Well, that's like saying, why do you take pictures of anything? No, no but what, what I mean is, why, at what point are we going to stop? Are we going to start sort of x-raying the fella's testicles and saying, well, there it is at a really young age? <laughs> Well, where, where, where are we going to stop? It's, big, it's just horses for courses, isn't it? Some people like to have a record of their baby in the womb. They That's like right. to show their baby. They're they excited sit, about it. They All sit right, down then. and they, they show the friends the, the slideshow. There That's the birth. Oh, that's the conception. Oh, look, Ron's going a bit mad there, isn't he? But why do I need to see this? This is what I'm saying. It was an awkward situation because she was happy with it. I was like, oh, God. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was an odd-looking thing. I couldn't say, oh, it looks like you, because that would be a diss. <laughs> Speaking of flies, though, and that, um, they've, they've got one, right? I was out with Ricky, right, and he was reading the paper. There was a story there about a fly that its eyesight was bad or something, and they've made it a pair of glasses, and it had a picture of a house fly wearing 
Okay, this is this is incredible, Steve. Is... Can I can I take over? Oh, hang on, let me just just need to finish a couple of questions for that. So he's got there's a small fly and they've made it a pair of glasses. Yeah. yeah. So that it can see better. Yeah. And your concern is what? Well, again, it's just that thing of we, we're looking after everything now. Aren't Sorry, we? I've got to come in here, Steve. All right. I showed you, you the story. Saw it. You saw it. It was a picture of a, a house fly, fly with a pair of glasses, glasses right? on. Yeah. Right. It was about a one sentence thing. Mm. It was about how far technology's come. Yeah. And, and a group of scientists out. using um, microscopy, right, and uh, um, uh, laser tools had. As an exhibition, shown that they could make a pair of glasses smaller to fit on a house. They put it on there and they've taken a picture of it, and it's on as a display. At no point was it actually because the fly had bad eyesight. The fly was presumably dead. It was purely an art installation or a show of technology. I thought you were going to say, Rick, that you drawn the uh, glasses on there, <laughs> yeah. and he believed it. Like there's a bearded lady in this paper. <laughs> no. Yeah. Oh my God, my God, Tony Blair looks like Adolf Hitler. <laughs> no. What What do you think of that though? But they well, did it as an experiment. Out. Yeah, but all things start as an experiment. But why would they make a pair of glasses but for a fly? How, how would they know he had short, a bad eyesight? How would they know it was the same fly? Bumping into stuff. I don't know. Bumping into stuff. It's just it's just that thing, innit, of human nature is something's wrong with something, let's fix it. And they, and they try and help people out all the time, don't they? When no. you, you know, We are, we're always doing it. We're always trying to help people out instead of just going, You've been dealt a duff card. Cope with it. <laughs> <laughs> Came up with a good idea. We'll um, be the judge of that. Mm. Uh, well, I, I do it now. <laughs> it's not a good idea. Okay. Okay. I, I'm, I'm, I, I'm sticking my neck out here. Um, but yeah. uh, I right. think this isn't going to be a good idea. Okay. Thoughts? Well, I'm, I'm going to agree with you. I'm going to second that motion. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if we're, let's see if we're both right. See through skin. <laughs> <laughs> High five, Rick. <laughs> Why are they hanging about round there? <laughs> Why aren't seals going? Do you know what? It's cold. I'm sick of it here. It's windy all the time. What have you? And I'm getting a club on the head. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Because they're, they're meant to be quite bright in terms of animals and that, aren't they? Yeah. So why are they knocking about them parts? I don't know. Say like if, if seals died out, right? Would 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 that be a problem? We've done this. We've been through this before. Carl. Everything has a knock-on effect. Even a seal. That's sort of in between something already. It's between a fish and a <laughs> and, and a, a dog. dog. In it. I knew you were going to say dog. <laughs> it's not between a fish and a dog. What do you think evolution does? Do you, I just, fish I, to I'll dog. Never understand it. Maybe. We what do you mean it. it's between a fish and a dog? I'm just saying it's. It was a perfectly evolved mammal that re-entered the. The water, I imagine, and then got streamlined, and it—I I mean, it's between a fish and a dog. But why not have one and the other? Why not have like you know, you've got a dog, you've got a fish. No, it's not between a fish and a dog. It's not between a fish and a dog. I don't know what between means. I don't know. What, this I... is it again about <laughs> saving everything all the time. What is it doing? <laughs> What's it doing? Everyone's feeling sorry for him all the time. Save the seal and all that. What's it doing? Why are we saving it? <laughs> Let's just ask that question. What's it doing? <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's between a fish and a dog. Problem, wouldn't it? We're changing everything all the time, aren't we? I mean, there's some fellow who was looking at it on the internet. Um, identical twins, right? They were sort of sick of looking like each other. So they were like, what can we do, right? And one of the twins said, you have my arm, right? And he, he had his arm taken off and stuck on his, his twin, so his twin's got like three arms. No, it's not true. It's on the website. <laughs> no, it's not what? true. What, um, for a laugh? They were born so what, they no, what, what, like, what doctor's doing this then? Well, they're old enough to sort of say, this is what we want, and... No, 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 no. Doctors don't go, well, if he wants another arm and I'll take another... They don't... Doctors don't do that. What sort of practice is this doctor going around and go, Dr. Jekyll? I mean, Carl, think of what you're no, saying. But we, Where would he have stopped? Can you put his head on my knee? No, it's up but, to you. <laughs> no, if, sign you're this. Paying, if you sign this, you can give my consent. <sighs> but, but we, you know, it isn't. Oh, what, what do you think these doctors are doing? Just they do as they're told. They don't do as they're told. They do if someone wants it. And, and twins, sort of, it can get you down, can't it? Being a twin, because it's like. So, it, what would this solve, though? I thought you said he, he, he gave one of them a, a bigger nose or a beard or two front teeth that would, uh, to make them look different, right? Not... I'll tell you what we could do. Go on. Um, would you like one arm? Go on, what are you thinking? 
Well, me three, you one, therefore not twins. <laughs> Novelty. I mean, you are a mental man. But they can do it now, can't they? There's no sort of, there's, there's no line drawn anymore. They don't go, you're crazy, we're not going to do that. Yeah, in Saw 2, not in the real world. No, they don't do things like all this. Right, there's another bloke, right? I don't know the sort of full ins and outs of it. Go on, you surprise me. But what he asked for, um, something happened to his, his, his tackle. Right? Mm -hmm. It's penis. Uh, yeah, right. Um, so he was at the doctor's and they were like, oh, what can you do for me? It's a bit embarrassing, I've got nothing down there, right? <laughs> so they were like looking at it going, yeah. Um, doctor, I don't know if he started like rubbing his chin with his finger or something. Looked down, he's thinking, <laughs> got an idea. Um, you know, you've got a lot of fingers. How many of them do you use? The patient's like, yeah, I see what you're thinking. <laughs> they cut off one of his fingers, sewn that on to where his, his tackle is. He's happy. Well, that's different though, isn't it? Well, that's where they've really taken different. tissue. <laughs> no, but they've, I assume they, they fashioned it into more of a knob than a finger. If you were doing that, use a sausage. I mean, why lose a finger? For well, I'll tell you why. Because your finger has your your tissue, your blood type, and therefore would graft uh, t t near your testicles. A sausage is a thing <laughs> that's made by a butcher out of offal, okay, that really can't be grafted onto any part of the human yeah, body. But... That's why they very rarely use any meat products yeah, in, uh, in, in surgery. surgery. <laughs> I know, yeah. Use, well, I mean, why not use a sausage? You're a mental case. Zero seven distractions, very nice. Yes, I approve of that, Carl. Good, good choice there. Now, Steve. Yes. Carl came round to my flat. Mm. Uh, it was Tuesday night, wasn't it? Nice place. Now, um, thanks. Now, last week after the show, I think you guys were in the time you were in the toilet. Right, Carl got out the lottery uh, ticket that he bought. He went. I'm feeling really confident tonight. Right. I was going, I, I was going, I laughed. He went, no, no, seriously, he said, look at the numbers. And I looked at him, and I think they were 4, 6, 8, 20, 36, 48, weren't they? He was going, I just got a feeling about those, I'm not sure. He went, although, you know, my girlfriend said that, you know, if, if I won the lottery, we'd probably split up because we like such different things, meaning she likes to travel and he doesn't. And so he said, <laughs> he said, so what I said was, well, if I win, then I won't tell you. I'll just <laughs> treat you a little bit more. <laughs> Brilliant. That's brilliant logic. That is great. Anyway. I'll look um, after her. I, I imagine you take care of her, yeah. Yeah, 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 you're a good guy. How would you do it then? You just, just sneak little gifts in, slowly over many years. Yeah. You don't yeah. think she'd rumble the fact that you, like, don't work anymore and drive a Lamborghini? Well, I'd still do this, I think. What, just like as a kind of beard, as a cover story? Yeah, just... So you'd pretend to come to work, but maybe off partying and stuff in the daytime. Yeah. Clever. Now... He didn't win. Okay. I phoned him up Saturday night, he went one number. <laughs> uh, one number. I think it was eight, wasn't it? Yeah, it well, was all, there was a lot of eights on my piece of paper, wasn't there? So I think it was either an eight or an 18 or a 48. And he, went, and he, uh, and he was disappointed, he said, waste of time. I went, well, he said, no, waste of time. He said, I've worked it out. I went, go on. He went, there are 26 letters in the alphabet. I went, yeah. He went, think how many words you can make out of them. He went, there are 48 numbers on the lottery. I went, yeah, 60 million to one, he went, yeah, <laughs> not I worth looked, it. I looked into that in the week, right, and there's, there's even less letters in the Welsh alphabet. They've only got 20, <laughs> and yet they've got loads of words as well. So even 20, the chances, if there was 20 numbers and you had to pick six winners, it'd still be really... Unlikely. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you should be a mathematician. And anyway, so we got talking about it. We got talking. It was me, him, and Jane around there. And uh, and I told Jane that he said about, oh, if you won the lottery, no, he doesn't like travel. And she went, why don't you like travelling? And uh, he went, well, I'm I don't like planes. I don't. I'm really scared of planes and that. And she went, well, if you won the lottery, you could have a world cruise. And he went, no. She went, if I say, I went, no. He said, if you go on a world cruise, what do you do next year? <laughs> 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 oh, Genius. it's brilliant logic, Carl. Huh? It's, it's but, you know, you know, on the world cruise, you don't actually see the whole world. I mean, you. And if you did, it's not like saying, "Well, I don't want to see that twice." <laughs> Do you know it what I mean? It's the world. It is the world. It's a lot. It's a lot to see. 
Mm. Um, and did, did it never, sorry, did it never dawn on you before about the numbers and the lottery? Is this, have you been playing this for years and thinking that you had a good chance and it was just like you and a handful of other people that were doing it? Just as much chance as everyone else, but then when you actually sit down and think about sure. what you're doing. He's done it again this week. He went on doing it one more time and he showed me the numbers and he went, they look a bit more healthy, don't they? <laughs> oh. What numbers are you going for this week? It's alright laughing, but we'll see you tonight. Yeah. Go on then. Look. You know people, if they people do this and they win, if you take these out and people do these, you'll have to share it with someone. It's alright though, isn't it? Give them a chance. Tell them what, give, them, give people a clue. What numbers are you doing, Carl? No, I'm not, I'm not gonna tell them all. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you four. I've got, I've got five, nine, twelve and twenty-six. <laughs> Okay. You don't want to give us the other two? No. Because that's, are, a, that's what, a big difference, isn't it? What are the, what, Four's worth about eight grand in it, but if I give them the other two and it wins. Yeah. What are those, those four numbers again? Five, nine, twelve, twenty-six. Also, coming up is Carl's GCSE results. He took them in 1988, I think. Was it? And we've got, we've phoned his score, we tracked them down. We've got Carl's GCSE, it's, what's, what, what did I say? <laughs> How yeah. many did you get, Rick? <laughs> <laughs> Clinic, walking with E. Sorry about that earlier. You know, I like to keep a tight, slick ship, and that lets us all down, doesn't it? When something goes wrong with the shoddy equipment in this place. Mm -hmm. what, why don't you buy some new stuff? You must be earning a bit of money now, wasn't you? We've got a few listeners now, we get adverts, don't we? Why don't you just buy a new CD player? You can go down to Richard Sounds and get one for 50 quid. Yeah, I don't know. I suppose when you're starting off, you, you save the money you make first before you spend it. I go down to record the tape exchange, take all the four non-blondes and excess stuff you've got. And the record label. You'll be able to get an old CD go. player. 25 minutes this week it took. Well, <laughs> before the four non-blondes. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should, I think we should make that some sort of calling to win feature. <laughs> Carl, are we using the equipment that you used to use when you had uh, Pilkey's Making Music, the DJ outfit that you, I you love that. It, that was Carl Pilkerton and someone making, what Colin, was it? Colin Making. Colin, Colin making. making. Pilkey's Making Music. Genius. That's are we right. using that same equipment? Did you earn any money? Um, I, I paid for the tube lights and that. I, I sort of covered my costs. Did you? Did and you pay tax it? on that? And then, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, that's why they get Al Capone on, isn't it? <laughs> it is, yeah. That's yeah. right. Don't worry about the music policy. We're sorting that out. We've got some Verve coming up. we got uh, some Jimmy Webb. we got some Nick Cave. we got some Amy Mann. we got some Travis Corner Shop. You know what I mean? We're, we're sorting yeah, ourselves out. We just name, start. Sir. We haven't started yet. We're just starting getting going. we got exa uh, Carl's GCSE result. Let's just do it now. Should we do it now? Well, let's, I think we should have a, a white van man session. Oh, white van man. Because I think man people tune in for the white van man yeah, session. Yeah, people who haven't tuned in, they don't know. If people aren't familiar with this, uh, <laughs> The Sun runs a column uh, every day which is uh, asking some punter from the street their views on the week's big uh, events. And we just thought, why not hijack that idea, but apply it to Carl Pilkington. I've Carl. I've seen much news again this week. You've not seen much news? Don't worry, I'm sure you have an opinion on just it. Just tell you, just give, give us it from your heart. So gladiator. Okay, so, well, on the subject of gladiator, what do you make of Russell Crowe's appalling behaviour at the BAFTAs? This is, um, I heard a bit about this. This is, um, when he, he got some director or something, because... Fletcher or producer and threatened him, because they cut his bit, didn't they? But, yeah, they cut a poem that he'd done during the acceptance it? speech. I, I watched it on Sunday night. I didn't realise it wasn't live, to be honest. Yeah. But um, I quite liked the way it was to the point and didn't mess about. It was, he went up, he said thanks. So you're saying that he shouldn't have beaten up the uh, director? <laughs> Is that <laughs> what you're basically saying? It's a bit over the top. You thought I so? I mean, <laughs> if you didn't have time, if you really, I mean, what's what's the poem got to do with the the film anyway? It, it was an award. So do you think film. it's ever justified to beat up a TV director if you're a major Hollywood star? Depends what he's done, but I mean... <laughs> right, what would you have to have done, Carl, for it to be fine for him to then beat him up? The thing is, right, forget all the beating up. At the end of the day, it was a awards thing for a film. The poem had nothing to do with the film. Yeah. So go up, collect your award for that thing. And if you really, really wanted people to hear about this poem, he could have photocopied it <laughs> sure. and left it at the entrance and said, on your way out, this is a really nice poem, pick one up. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the thing is... He knew it was televised, so he knew by saying that poem once, he was reaching five million people. That's a, not, that's a lot of photocopies. Do you see what I'm saying? I'm yeah, not saying it was justified. It wasn't, it wasn't a poem award. If it was a, an award show for poems, you'd say you can't cut it out. It'd be like doing the top 40 and then going, 
number one's good, but we haven't got time for it. But, <laughs> but it's a films thing. Okay. And he went up and he got the award for the film. Which film was it for? <laughs> I don't know. But when I wanted to give you results, I said, I said, let's give Carl his results. Steve went, no, we should introduce people to Carl again. Just remind people what Carl's like. And he's so right. I'm so glad we did this first. <laughs> I'm all right, though. All right, Carry on, on, Steve. Okay, the next, uh, the next topic. Um, what about this big debate over whether Kylie Minogue has had a bum job? I'd have to see it. <laughs> <laughs> next. <laughs> okay. Um, what do you make of Will Young's single? He's the pop idol winner. Uh, it's going to uh, net record-breaking sales. Apparently, it's going to yeah. be straight to number one. He's had millions of copies sold. I heard last week that you had to, um, <laughs> if you wanted to buy it from Woolworths. You had to go in and put a pound down to guarantee you're getting a copy. Wow. I think that's stupid. But what do you make of it, though? Do you think... Well, um, as a song. As Both as a song, and do you, are you excited about Will Young and his future? No, he'll do all right. I don't think we, we have to worry about him. Okay. He'll, yeah, it will do all right. It's not my thing, but seems like a nice bloke. Okay, good. really good. Um, what one do you final make one. Of, yeah, one final one, then. Um, what do you make of our scientists getting the go-ahead to clone embryos for research? We have discussed cloning before. And obviously there's uh, the pros and cons of that. Christopher Reeve, former Superman star, he's behind this. Are you behind him? Yeah. I mean, with everything, you have your good and your bad, don't you? Yeah. At the end of the day, uh, if you didn't have bad things in the world, then you wouldn't enjoy the good things. I think, you know, it's like if you didn't have robbers in the world, policemen wouldn't have a job. So it's the same thing. It's like, it's an illness. Yeah. So what, 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 what are they messing with? It's probably a bit too detailed to go into there, really, but, um... Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's good and bad. You can't have it all. Yin and yang is what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> okay, Carl, I can't argue with that, mate. Um, I want to play a track now that, uh, I haven't heard for a while. It's The Verve, isn't it? Yeah. Sonnet. Lovely song. Mm -hmm. 